you joined the Warriors after playing with the Nuggets. What transpired? Uh, uh, I think it was George Carl mm-hmm. called you a mole. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a whole lot of players, <laughs> former players, like George Carl. Right. Uh, Boogie Cousins had a lot to say. I think you said some things about him. What transpired uh, with the Nuggets and then Golden State? Because if I'm not mistaken, Golden State beat you guys right. in the playoffs. Right. And then you later joined them the, right. uh, that right. following right. offseason. Yeah, yeah. We were the third seed. Um, Gallo goes down with an ACL tear like three games left for the playoffs. Timothy Mogov, Moscow broke his thumb before the last game of the season. And uh, we just got caught in a buzz. So Steph started shooting the threes and running down the court before it went in. You know, he just, right. you know, he, that's what, like the coming out party. So it was a great series. They beat us uh, fair and square. Uh, but it was one particular thing uh, that happened where uh, <laughs> we had an interesting uh, scout report, you know, with Steph and Clay. You know, we just going to rough them up a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was getting a little borderline, you know, and uh, get a borderline dirty. Yeah. So I, I'm I was never a fan of I can't stop you. So I'm going to try to rough you up a little bit. Right. I'm you know, man, may the best man win. Right. You know, I, I feel like I'm the better player. And if you get me today, you got me. Right. And uh, I remember George Carl. I mean, not George, uh, Mark Jackson. Right. You know, I'm, I'm in front of their bench and he was like, yo, why y'all trying to hurt my players? Why y'all trying to hurt my players? And I'm like. Uh, coach, I don't, I don't move like that. So, you know, I, just, I, I don't move like that. That was it. That was all you said. That was it. I don't, yeah. I don't play like that, Coach. And I think after the game, you know, Mark and I, I joke with Mark. I said, Mark, you threw me under the table. He's like, how I throw you under the table? I said, you know, he, after the game, Mark said, you know, I'm pretty sure that I got confirmation from one of their players that the sky report was to hurt my guys. Right. And, you know, we understand how right. we talk to each other. Right. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm basketball one on one. Right. We're gonna compete. You beat me, you beat me. That's how I move. Right. But everybody in the world know the sky report. You just watching. Right. You know our bigs is crashing into the guys. They get a bit clumsy. You know steps. They right. running into the. You know you can see it. So that was the sentiments coming out of that. And and George didn't have an adjustment for them boys. And them boys beat us. Right. And typical George. George gonna run with a narrative that. He gonna run away from what it was. Right. You just got out coached. Right. You didn't make any adjustments. So let me look for something else. And he's done it throughout his career. He wrote a book. He has some things about you know young African American men, and his reason for why they aren't as successful under him is because they didn't have fathers. He's done. He said some things about some African American players that I uh, didn't take too kindly of. And you know we haven't seen George in a while, and he's just looking for attention. So you'll see him on Twitter. You know, every other week, just looking for some controversy and just looking, you know, to, to bring his stature back up. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.